Hello, this is Thomas. I am a radiologist working in Oslo, Norway. And in this video, I will show you how to do lung segmentation using MedSeg. MedSeg is a tool that we're developing that runs in the browser and lets you do segmentations. Uh, so this will probably be a quite a long video because I will uh, refine the segmentation and will, it will probably take some time. So what I did now was uh, that I just dragged in some nifty files um, of a patient who has COVID-19 with the lung changes that you see. And what I want to do is just segment the lungs because we're trying to perfect the lung segmentation model that we have. So I scroll up and down with the scroll wheel. You do segmentation with the left mouse key, erase with the right. You can change labels, you can make additional labels and so on. Um, but now we we're going to do the lung segmentation. So I will just load a model, the lungs model. And now this text has been updated, so now it's loaded. And with the press of the space bar, uh, I get a segmentation of this one slice, but we want to do this for all the slices. So then I press capital P. And now it does segmentation of all the slices. And I already saw there were quite some errors that we need to correct. Um, so for correction, uh, I of course changed the window leveling um, um, with the press of the scroll wheel. Uh, or you can press the buttons 3, 4, 5, 6, for example. So this is the lung windowing and this is soft tissue windowing. And, and this is bone windowing. I think bone windowing is quite okay actually. So now I don't have threshold activated and that's okay. You can see these are actual opacifications inside the lung. So that is actually lung tissue. So I will correct that. And then I will show you how to correct all these you see there's quite a lot of black around and for that we will use thresholding so either you can manually set the thresholding and write it here or i will show you a function that we have uh, that makes it a bit faster uh, so if you would press the letter i uh, here then it will uh, show the values within the pointer and the pointer is this uh, bright uh, blue circle so within this bright blue circle over here you can see the average value is minus 300 Hounsfield units air is minus 1000 approximately um, and if you would look at the fat around here it's at minus 100 approximately uh, so what I want to do is I want this to set the max thresholding value to something uh, within the middle of this circle because I want to threshold only half of what's inside. So you can see the average is minus 520 and if I hold the mouse here and press the plus button uh, it will automatically set the thresholding value to oops, to the average within the circle. And now you can see I can use that thresholding nicely to fill out a bit more. But actually I think it can be even a bit higher, so maybe minus 500. I think that looks okay. You see it looks a bit different uh, depending on what windowing you have. Um, but I think this might be a good windowing to have. So with the press of uh, the letter T, 
here I deactivate thresholding uh, so now it can paint all over and if I activate it then it doesn't paint here you see it's activated here and you see it took a bit of the bronchi takes a bit too little there Oh, you see it missed all of this area right here. So this is actually quite bad performance of the model. It's okay, I guess, but it, it has some real improvement potential. to zoom in and out uh, what I do is I you hold the control key button pressed and then with the right mouse button and uh, move the mouse up and down or while holding control key pressed you can scroll up and down and this panning uh, with the left mouse button while holding control key pressed and then R uh, just returns everything. But it also resets windowing, so if you want to uh, go back but not reset windowing, you press Ctrl R. And all the key, uh, almost all of them are documented here, all the key bindings. Anyway, let's get back to the segmentation. Uh, let's see this part over here. I think it's lung. And this is of course lung. This actually takes quite It's always the question of how how many perihilar structures do you want to include, like how much of the central bronchi should you exclude from the lung segmentation, and uh, I really don't have a good answer for that, but I uh, try to exclude at least the central structures like this. going right here. This is a small bronchus probably. It's a good thing that this scan isn't too thin, so there's not too many slices to correct.
really don't like when it starts. <laughs> I, uh, I was going to say it starts taking the esophagus, but this is actually a, this is actually a lung, and I think that's the acegosabine. goes in right here and goes around and this is lung tissue So yeah, like if you if you see how I'm doing this and you have like much better suggestions on how this can be done effectively, I would love to hear it. And we're trying to uh, you know make this segmentation tool better. So if you have ideas on how that can be done uh, that's really interesting and we've already get gotten a lot of good feedback like not only positive but, but, but I mean good also constructive feedback uh, from our users so that's really nice even when uh, even if you say it looks terrible or something is really bad, that's that's what we really want to hear. Um, because that can really get our focus into something that we hadn't thought about. So yeah, we're very open to criticism. <laughs> to the most basal parts. Oh, there is. That's the diaphragm, because it looks like it is, it looks quite thick on the other side. But I think all of this is still inside the lung, only op opacifications. Um, probably the smart part of the lung. basically removes everything that's not connected uh, to the point that you're holding the mouse over when you activate the function and I hope that will 
be clear what happens. So first I have to make sure that both lungs are connected because otherwise it will remove one lung. So I think they're not connected, so I'll just make a connection uh, like that. So now they're connected and now I activate the function and you should see that these all disappear. So what I do is I press shift and the star or multiplication, you know, asterisk and everything disappeared in three dimensions. So also everything that was positive down there. And I can just show you once more is if I paint here, you see these parts are not connected in this slice, but they're connected in another slice. That's why they don't, the other lung doesn't disappear, but everything else uh, goes away. Uh, and now we just have to remove that connection. Oops. Let's see. Like that. And I think we're. What is that? Is that one pixel? This is starting to look quite good actually. These are bronchi. That is two. This is kind of my guess. And the F key uh, hides and shows the segmentation. You can also change the opacity of the segmentation with A and D buttons. Or you know, you can just write it here. Whatever level that you want to have. disappeared when I did the uh, preserve island function. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, this looks quite good, I think. I 
errors. I forgot to say, but the um, increase and decrease of this pointer is with W and S. So everything's kind of like as if you would play a game uh, with W, S, A, and D. Like a first person shooter. I hope we can make segmentation. <laughs> Maybe not as fun, but at least a bit more fun than it is today. Make it more like a game. will drive uh, the deep learning models significantly down. Yeah, no, I think this is, this has got to be good enough soon. Again, so it keeps going here yeah, and goes into here. Um, and that's how you do segmentation of the lungs in uh, 20 minutes. I <laughs> uh, hope you have enjoyed it.